this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can manage your TV user privileges using default. So one of the way is by using a custom registry definition called secret access request. So what is a secret access request? A secret access request is a Kubernetes custom resource definition, which allows a user to request a vault server for credentials in a Kubernetes native way. A secret access request can be created under various different roles. For example, AWS role, GCP role, Elasticsearch role, MongoDB role, etc. A secret access request has three different phases, waiting for approval, approved, or denied. If a secret access request is approved, then the Kubeful operator will issue credentials and create Kubernetes secrets containing those credentials. The secret name will be specified in the status.secret.name field. And once a secret access request is approved, it cannot be denied. And a denied phase will automatically change to waiting for approval if any changes in secret access request.spec is made by the user. So let's see how a secret access request can be used. So to use the secret access request, you must have already created a secret engine role and of course a secret engine. I've created a secret engine and a secret engine role called my school secret engine and a role called super user role. So under that, I want to create a secret access request. So here is our secret access request channel. So I want to create a secret access request. I have provided the kind here and provided the name in the namespace and the role that I want to use to create this request. And subject is the user that will have the permission to read this particular secret. So let's apply the secret access request channel. So I have created the secret access request, which is currently in waiting for approval. Now, if I approve the secret access request using the default CLI, let's see what happens. So now our secret access record has been approved. So it should create a secret in the same name spaces. So we can see that upon approval of the secret access request, the Kubeful operator has created a secret containing the username and password of our MySQL DB. So let's try to log into the MySQL DB using those credentials to check if they're valid or not. First, let's decrypt them. So here's our password. Let's also decrypt our username. Now let's exit into the MySQL DB pod. Let's log into. MySQL DB using the username and the password. So we're successfully logged into our MySQL DB using the credentials generated by the default operator upon approval of the secret access request. So if you want to know more about secret access request or default in general, feel free to follow the following URL. Thank you.